Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Luna Wolf and today we are doing a speed build on Happy Home Paradise and we are doing Franklin for Turkey Day. Um, so this villager I received in one of my packets of cards and so I decided he'd be a brilliant one to do for Turkey Day. So I'm giving him a restaurant style home um, where he can do all of his turkey day cooking. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was quite a fun one to do. Um, I really like the turkey day in the game. It's quite a fun one to get all the ingredients, um, together for him. So I thought it'd be fun to make him a little home. Um, so decided on where he's going to go and giving him two floors. Um, never really know if I'm going to do a two floor or one floor home. Um, kind of just decide in the moment, usually. <laughs> um, but here we go. We're over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to give him a um, autumn-themed home. Um, and obviously with these ones, they don't... Um, they don't give you a list of things they want because it's a... because it's an amiibo um, villager uh, character you decide everything and you make the theme so um i went quite simple outside with mushrooms and some benches put down um where people can sit and smell all the cooking that's going on inside um yeah but i had fun doing this build um this video is going up a day later because i know um the day this goes up is when Turkey Day is in the game, so I wanted to have my video go up on the same day. Um, putting down a storefront. I don't use these much, so it's quite nice to use these. Um, and as always, I'm just going through, finding everything I want, and then I go and start moving everything over where I want it to go. Um, yeah, I'm still very much in the cosy vibes on uh, my island at the moment, so these builds are always quite fun to do. Um, giving him this little um, autumn entranceway arch. I love these arches. I'm seeing a lot more of arches in shops now, um, like the Christmas arches. Um, and so I thought it'd be really cute to give him the autumn themed one. Um, so putting these benches down, got the mushrooms, uh, which are going to sort of line the path a little bit. Um, I, I mean, it's the problem is that each side... Um, because of how you put it um, on the left and the right side being much closer to the house than the left side it always looks a bit off but it's fine we work with it um, so I'm going to be putting down some garden bits um, putting down some vegetables um, you know so that he he brings in food from the garden to cook for turkey day um, using a barbecue to put down um went with the yellow one because of the autumn themes um it didn't stand out as much and then the barrels the theme of the barrels is apple barrels um apple storage um to make you can make apple juice or maybe make some apple pie um apple pie or apple crumble which one do you like because i am more into apple pie because I love the pa I love pastry. Um, apple pie pastry is so good. <laughs> I need some apple pie now. Um, I know my videos have been a bit all over the place at the moment. I've not been feeling very well. Um, my husband and I both have had food poisoning the past few days, um, which is one of the reasons this video has gone up um, Thursday instead of Wednesday. Um, yeah, because we're just trying to get over that and we don't, we don't feel well at all. So, um, yeah, yay for us. <laughs> but anyway, we're putting down the apples. Um, it's a little apple bit, uh, apple tree, not an orchard because I only put down one apple. Um, and then putting down some of the veggie balls. Um, got some carrots. Um, I ended up putting down the actual vegetables because I forgot you could put down the planted version. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I didn't realise until um, I started putting things down. But And then obviously everything's in the way of itself. But using the pumpkins, um, I've, I've actually been eating um, small 
like pumpkins and butternut squash this year um roasting them which is really nice and something i only started doing last year but it's made me appreciate the different vegetables you can have um and so i wanted to have his garden with his vegetables you know for cooking because i don't know if you have much experience with homegrown fruit and veg but unless you buy the ex very expensive organic vegetables and fruit in stores which let's be realistic most of us can't afford um it take normal bog standard fruit and veg does not taste the same as when you grow at home i grew up with my dad um not did a lot of gardening and so we grew a lot of stuff ourselves and it tastes so much better in my opinion um so what i did was instead of removing um the bits from the left side I've left them as they are, and then here on the right side, I'm putting down the planted versions, um, because I just saw, it, it, you know, you've got things on multiple sides, and um, yeah, and the outside, it's it looks good, I think, personally. Um, then we're heading indoors. I don't really don't change the outside of the house at all, really, but um, it's fine. It's cosy out there. So here we are indoors, and making the room bigger so what i did indoors was i've gone and kind of split the house down a bit um so we got the we're gonna have the kitchen on the left and then on the right i made sort of a little um open lounge kind of area uh where everyone can sit and relax um and choosing the wallpaper here it takes me so long to choose there's too many and try and pick one it's almost to the point of thinking i should do it at the end pick the wallpaper and flooring because then you've got everything down so you can see how it all looks together but um yeah there's a lot of um a lot of variety of wallpapers um so i spent ages looking through trying to pick one that suits um yeah um I do really do love this red brick wall um <laughs> and i believe i'm going to put an accent wall in yes i am the autumn wall there you go i am obsessed with the accent walls um and then putting down the partitions and the um tall cabinets and the wooden pillars this time as well um but i'm obsessed with using these partitions um i just i, th I really like how um, it just, it looks like a window, a big window. Um, I think, I just think that comes out amazing every time and I'm obsessed with doing it. Um, so yeah, this is my, um, my lounge room, the divider between the lounge and the kitchen, kind of. I still think for the next game, as well as having these partition walls, we need to have um like doorways a partition wall but a doorway instead of just a wall so that we can properly you know do a room we can properly seal off a room without needing to put a whole part a complete wall of partitions if that makes sense um i decided to go with this color uh the darker wood um for the um hiding of the wallpaper but yeah i would love to be able to put a door frame that's what i'm thinking of a door frame down um but we can't so i just have slightly in the center of the room the two stone brick partitions um and then i'm going to start with the kitchen so as you can see here i'm going through excuse me um finding everything that i need choosing which kitchen items to use i am obsessed with the ranch kitchen it's such a cute item um and i need to use it in everything <laughs> um and then the beige um oven looking here at the brick oven because you can never have too many ovens um but this this kitchen uh this fireplace that i'm moving now the fire stove um, is very um, nostalgic for me because when I was young, much younger, when I was little, um, one of our, our, the second house I lived in, 
that that is almost exactly like what our stove looked like um so it was one where you had a fire underneath a fire stove that you could put things in close the door and it cooked with the fire um, because as i've said before i grew up in the country and um the country is beautiful but you also get the problems of um quite often the electricity will just disappear and goes out um so that can be a problem <laughs> um oh dear so sorry excuse me um so having one of those fireplaces fireplace stoves means that even if your electricity goes out you still have a way of cooking um or heating up your water which is what we had to do when i was little um so i do love to use it in these kitchen builds just because it's very nostalgic for me um and it, i think it helps as well if you're trying i do a lot of um farmhouse style builds um and i feel like using these kinds of stoves rather than the um i can't remember what it's called now but the the more modern stove kitchen appliances available in the game um it makes the house feel older by using the more farmhouse looking um kitchenette items I'm so sorry i'm not talking very well today am i um but no, I, I actually really enjoy how this comes out. Um, I'm, I'm, um, I, I love decorating in this game. I'd forgotten until I started playing. I saw, one of the brilliant things about starting this channel is the fact that I am making, you know, playing the game again. It made me remember how fun this game is, and I, it's really nice to get comments from you guys saying, you know, this watching my videos has made you want to play the game again because I feel like all of us were so obsessed with it during lockdown, um, and we were all playing it dated at every single day, and then we just stopped, you know, all kind of collectively just stopped playing after a while. It's really nice to go back to this because it sort of got my creative juices flowing again, um, and it's nice to be back to it. Um, I'm rambling, but. I'm putting down um, some food items to go on the tables and some cans. Um, cans are going to go in the corner um, and then I've got some plates and cutlery and then the sharp knives which are going to go on the um, cabinets I put at the back next to the moving wallpaper. I'm going to put them there so that it looks like a countertop. Um, as you guys can see, I still haven't um, got the um, window pane stickers yet installed, which I do need to do because that would be really useful of me to get. Um, yes, but I think this kitchen comes out really nice. I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, I got to stop saying I'm a lot. <laughs> I'm so sorry today. I'm not doing it very well. Um, and then using these. Um, uh the autumn decorations I, mean, I just think is a really cute thing i always see um it's nice to see decorations used in multiple ways rather than just christmas decorations it's nice to see these autumn decorations as well um so there's kind of framing the kitchen quite a bit here but i love how this kitchen looks i think franklin would absolutely adore this kitchen i think he would love cooking here um I think this is his dream kitchen. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to be looking at the rugs. Got to choose a rug, of course. And this takes me ages as well, because I can never decide which rug. I was looking at the festive rug, and then I realised it was a Christmas rug, and I was like, nope, no, no, <laughs> can't have the Christmas rug. Um, there are some really pretty rugs in this game. It's just trying to choose which ones to use where. Um, and I love to have the um, rug at the door entrance you know your doormat when you come in um i feel like that's a very british thing <laughs> i don't i don't know why but i'm i'm just you know i have to have one because when you come home you have to wipe your feet on something so <laughs> um yeah moving more into the lounge bit now um and i um go for sort of a very cozy very you know very autumn vibes so of course i'm bringing out the books because of course i am um and this is something that will come out in a bit because at some point hopefully in the next few weeks i'm going to be doing a speed build of my um character's house and showing you a build of that and you'll just end up seeing why all of my builds look so similar because but the, <laughs> the way i've got my house going to look is yeah it says a lot <laughs> lots of books 
<laughs> I'm a one one track easy person. <laughs> um, but you know, for me, I just I love implementing um, things that I enjoy. So you know, the very cozy, lots of you know the fireplaces, the big kitchens. Um, it's speaking of here is the fireplace that I'm choosing. Um, because, I mean, come on, there is nothing better in these winter months than sitting in front of a fire. It's just lovely. Um, I don't have a fireplace currently. I would love to have one. I had one growing up. And before you go to bed in the evening, listening to a crackling fire is one of the best things. And the second best I have now is I have a wallpaper on my monitor that I play in the evenings. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to give him this really cosy, comforting little area to sit by the fire when he's had his long day of cooking for everyone. And I think he absolutely adores cooking for all the villagers um, and enjoys coming up with different recipes. I think he just loves to do that. So this was a really fun build to do. Um, and I knew exactly kind of what I was going to do with it as well, which is lovely. <laughs> it doesn't happen always. Um, and here comes the bookcase because it wouldn't be one of my builds if there wasn't at least one bookcase. <laughs> um, yeah, but just nice and cozy and, um, again, not overly crowded, but it doesn't need to be, you know, it's fine. Um, yes. And we are coming up to the end of this video. Um, and I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, let me know down below, you know, do you enjoy Turkey Day in the game? Um, do, do you have um, a favourite food? Do you like turkey? Do you not like turkey? Let me know. Um, and I hope you're all having a wonderful week. It's almost the weekend, so let's get this week finished and then we can relax. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos as always, guys. I always appreciate having you all here so much. And I love to read your comments, so do keep putting them. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you next time, so bye for now.